Top 10 summer fragrances. Best fragrances for you in the hot weather. Stay tuned. Mm. What's up, ladies? Welcome to my channel. This is on Absolute. If you haven't subscribed yet, what is you doing with your life? Hit that um little red button and that bell. Press all. <sighs> Yeah, just do it, just do it. Guys, my energy is like all the way in the pooper today. So we're gonna keep today's calm, cool, and collective. Very unlike me, but we're gonna try to do that today. Hope all of you guys are doing well. Hope all of you guys are staying safe and sane, mostly sane. Protect your mental health at all costs, okay? Whatever you gotta do. Except, you know, some stuff. Don't do some stuff right now, guys. I love you guys. Thanks for everything. We're going to get into this list. Of course, I cheated. I have like 16 fragrances here. <laughs> but you know what? Top 10 looks better on a friggin, what are those things called? A friggin thumbnail, okay? They look better on there, so that's what I'm going to do. Guys, I have a lot here. First, we're going to go through the ones I talk about a lot on this channel. If you want to know more about that fragrance, definitely check out my videos because I talk about them a lot. Um... So I'm gonna kind of speed through those and then give a little bit better descriptions of the rest of them. So we're gonna kind of breeze through this. Let's go as fast as possible. This is my third time filming this. <laughs> as always, I'm always sounding crazy. <sighs> so good feelings in, bad feelings out. <sighs> Relax, ladies. We're gonna be all right, okay? We're all going to be all right. We're going to figure this out. We're going to get through this, these times together. Hit me up on IG if you haven't yet. I'm pretty active on there for the most part. Yeah, hit me up on there, guys, at Anna underscore absolute. I'm here for you. Okay, so, guys, first, if you like Versace Dylan Blue Pour Femme, this is not a part of the list. If you like this one, though, definitely get your hands on Escada Paradise. Guys, this is basically exactly the same as Dylan Blue, but with a mango note. Yes, the mango is synthetic. All mango notes awards are, but it's good. This is good. I actually prefer it over Dylan Blue. I'm not gonna lie. Longevity is the same as Dylan Blue, but it's like 50% cheaper. Yeah, it's 50% less. So that's right. That's right. I said that right. Mm, it's good, guys. Fruity hairspray. That smells bomb. That's addictive. That's what I get from it. I love it. Okay, guys, next. I talk about this one a lot, a lot. And No Summer is Complete without Moschino's I Love Love. Very similar to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. So if you like that one, you most likely will love this one. This one is more orange. I think it's sweeter and I think it's sexier on the dry down. When your body heats up that musk and all those sweet notes together, this is like sexy fresh. <clears throat> Sexy Fresh. I love spraying this one. I like spraying it throughout the day. You'll get max six hours if you overspray, but definitely take it with you. <sighs> sometimes it lasts long on me and then sometimes it doesn't. Definitely lotion yourself up. If you guys want a video about how to make your fragrances last longer, please let me know. I'll be happy to make one. Yes, this is a good one, guys. Okay, next. I talk about that one a lot, so look it up in my other videos, okay? Um, I also talk about this one a lot, a lot, and that is Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. Mm, zesty and woody. Zesty citruses and woody woody. Mm, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Guys, it's good. It wakes your game up. It's like a refresher. When I first sprayed this, I was like, wow, that's what people are talking about. It's good. And on clothes, this lasts forever. But it actually, for a freshie, it lasts pretty long as well. I get max six to eight hours on this. But if you, if, but on my clothes, it lasts forever. Forever, ever. Mm, but I do, I just like spraying this one. It's 
just really fresh. Anyways, I talk about this one a lot, guys. Check it out on my other, on my other um, videos if you want to hear more about that. That is an everyday wherever kind of fragrance as well. Guys, I also talk about this one a lot. Dolce Gabbana, Dolce Garden. I think this is good for summer in Alaska. Summers here are very mild, unless you're in Fairbanks. Summers where I am are very mild. And I've heard people say that this is a little cloying for them in summer. Please let me know if you have this. Put down in the comments, is it cloying for you? And at what temperature was it too cloying? Um, I like it, guys. It's very creamy. Mm, very tropical. Um... Super duper good. I get mostly frangipani, coconut milk, and almond milk. Yes, it's good. Mm. Oh, and sweet. I love it. This is a really, really great one. Guys, about six to eight hours on the longevity. It does project and it does have a little sillage. After about the first four hours, this becomes a skin scent on me. So yeah, just FYI. Very cash though, very cash. Okay, guys, and I'm next, I'm going to mention my three favorite uh, gourmands for summer. Yes, I'm going to go through these quickly because I also um, talked about these in my video top 10 gourmands. <laughs> yeah. Guys, Dior's Poison Girl Unexpected. If you have the Eau de Toilette, you don't need this one, but I think this one is better than the toilette because it has this like uplifting ginger in the fur in the opening and it lasts about an hour to two hours. Mm. But after that ginger goes away, it's exactly the same as the eau de toilette. So yeah. This for summer and then poison girl throughout winter. Mmm. This is so good. And you can wear this anywhere all day. It's very addictive. I just like to spray this one for no reason. Okay, and Lalique's Soleil, beautiful fragrance. Oh, orange pear, like a toffee praline, kind of candied, and cardamom. Cardamom makes it very addictive, and yeah, it's good. It's very classy, but ma mass appealing, very mass appealing. Ooh. Do, 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 do. let me fix that i also talk about this one a lot so yeah check out it check it out in my other videos guys and then the best um summer vanilla is olympia by paco Rabanne. this is a super salty vanilla could get a little headache inducing and also be careful if you're going to be indoors as this can kind of choke people out a little bit but great projection great longevity and it's a super duper beachy vanilla. Mm. Mm. I love it. Okay. So those are the ones I talk about a lot on my channel. So I kind of sped through that. Sped through it and it's like still nine to ten minutes. <laughs> so next, I have talked about this one before, but I didn't go in depth with this one. And that is Aqua di Gioa. Guys, this is like a sweet mojito. Mm. mint and citruses and pink pepper on the opening oh, that's mostly what I get there are um, some white florals in here that kind of um, come out through um, the mid of in the that come out in the heart of this fragrance oh, and this dries down very salty woody that kind of comes off like musk to me but it's not it's like it's woods and saltiness. Yeah, I think. Guys, this one is a fresh one. And try this on your skin because um, in my experience, this smells different on a lot of people. The project It doesn't project very much, but if someone does get in your little bubble, they will smell this. Mm, and it's super duper fresh. And when I sprayed this in the... In Sephora, like four women around me were like, what is that? And they ran to get a sample of it. It's like, hmm, okay, noted. I'm gonna tell my subscribers about that. Yeah. Oh, you know, I had to show you the nice new bottle that I just got because the old one is halfway empty and a little discolored. <laughs> so guys, yeah, I love this one. This is my backup bottle. 
It's good. It's fresh. It's aquatic. <gasps> mm. I love this one. Love it, love it, love it. Minty, florally. Sorry, I'm looking. There's a big window right in front of where I'm standing. And when stuff happens in the window, I look around. I should be looking at you. Sorry, but yeah. So minty, floral, sweet. Don't forget that pink pepper. And it changes to a salty woody on the dry down. Salty woody. A salty woods on the dry down. Salty woods on the dry down. Aqua di Gioa by Giorgio Armani. I really love Beyonce's Heat, but for the summer, I prefer Beyonce Heat Rush. Guys, this is mm, a lot of um, blood orange and passion fruit. That's mostly what I get out of this. There is like a honeyed amber in the base, and that kind of just makes this little rich and sexy and sweet. Super sweet, super tropical, ooh, and sexy, very, very sexy. It's Beyonce. <laughs> Obviously, it's sexy. So, guys, yes, um, max six hours, but this bottle right now I just checked on Fragrance X is only about 14 bucks. So, carry it with you. Oh, it's so good. Guys, and you know what I noticed? The actually, the one ounce of this smelled stronger. So, I think from now on, if I ever use this bottle up, I'm only going to buy the one ounce from now on. Yeah, it was, it just smelled stronger and seemed to last longer as well. But I don't know what that is. Does anybody notice that with any other bottles? Let me know. Okay, guys, this is a sexy, tropical, blood orange passion fruit. Very linear. It doesn't change that much on the skin either. So no surprises. It's good. Yes. Um, I would wear this on like a casual night out to a bar whenever we freaking start doing that stuff. But yeah, that's where I would wear this. Guys, this is a sexy cheapie. You need it in your collection. Next. Okay. So I haven't heard a lot of YouTubers talk about this one yet. Um, so I'm very happy to... <laughs> talk about it and I'll try to spend a little extra time on it just in case you were thinking about getting this one. Guys, this is Anna Sui's Fantasia and why didn't y'all um, correct me in my last video when I did um, when I was testing a sample of this? I was calling it Fantasia. I was saying Anna Sui Fantasia like she was Spanish. What the hell was I thinking? I don't know, guys. It's definitely Fantasia. Thank you, Perfume Realm, for correcting me. We were talking about this, and she was like, Fan Fantasia? And I was like, no, it's Fantasia. She's like, uh, there's no little asterisks above the eye. And I was like, hmm, that makes sense, because Ana Sui doesn't really sound like a Spanish name. So, <laughs> anyways... Dumb moment, airhead moment, but guys, this smells, if you've smelled Coach Eau de Parfum, this smells just like the opening of that fragrance. And then um, that fragrance has rose, no rose. This smells like it. Pink pepper. Let me spray this. It's very linear as well. It doesn't really change throughout the fragrance. Oh, it's so good. There's like um, pomelo, which is like grapefruit, pink pepper, and um, there is raspberry in here, but I don't really get a lot of raspberry. I think the raspberry kind of just adds a little sweetness to this fragrance and has an, like an underlying woody base. Oh, it's super like uplifting and happy and bright. Very magical, like this little unicorn. And guys, this lasts a good eight hours on me. Projection is moderate, but it does project. And it lasts. Doesn't last in winter, though. I I tried it then, and I thought it didn't have projection, but I retried it. Oh, guys, I really like this one. Mm, I think it would be better for spring or like the end of summer, almost fall. But I really want to talk about it. So I think it would also be good in summer. But... Yeah, I really want to talk about it. It's really good. 
Oh, if you guys try this one, let me know. The um, reviews that everyone had left in Scentbird, they really loved it. So I know you guys will probably really love this one, especially if you like um, Coach Eau de Parfum, if you like the opening of that one without the rose. Yes, this is good. Next, did I talk about this one? No, I haven't, guys. So I had to add a green fragrance in here. I'm re I really like green fragrances because I just feel like they're extra fresh. So this is like a, a green starter fragrance, okay? It's a starter. If you don't think you might like it, try this one. This is Hermes's Un Jardin Soulenil. Probably sound ridiculous saying that, but that's how I can read it. Guys, this is basically a green mango. Very linear, doesn't change throughout. It does have moderate projection and it lasts about eight hours on me. After six hours, it definitely becomes a skin scent, barely there, but if you put your hand close to your arm, you can smell it. But definitely just a green mango, straight up. There is bulrush and hyacinth in this. Hyacinth, hyacinth, hyacinth. I will say that right next time. I promise to do my research. But I mostly, the greenness that comes from this, I smell the hyacinth. I don't know what bulrush smells like, but I probably smell that too. The green note or accords in here smell very strong, but the mango is also noticeable, but it's not a sweet mango. Yeah, not sweet at all. Mostly green, fresh, and good. And miss, I don't want to say the name again. It'll be in the description, guys. Okay, oh yeah, I said how much long it lasted. I feel like it's an everyday white shirt kind of fragrance. Yes. Okay, next. So the next two that I'm about to talk about are definitely vacation vibes, okay? If you're gonna go on vacation and you wanna smell like you're on vacation, these are it, okay? They're very similar, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna talk about them at the same time. And that is Creed Virgin Island Water and Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess Azure. Guys, this only comes in this 1.7 ounce. How much did I buy this for? Like 50 bucks. So, but I did get it for 25% off from Neiman and Marcus. So, yeah. But that's just an FYI on that. Guys, these, the lasting power on these are not great. This one does last longer than this one. My son is about to come and interrupt. So, hold these up. These are very, this one mostly is coconut, lime, and white rum. And I smell mostly lime. I've heard with Creed fragrances that it matters what batch you have on like kind of the effect of the smell. And mine is very definitely lime forward. Forward, I wish it was coco more coconut forward because I really love that fragrance. That, um, I really love coconut, but I got that one. And I really love this, guys. It's... Mm, it smells fresh and it definitely smells like you're on vacation. Um, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's just a little expensive. So if you can't afford this one, get your hands on Bronze Goddess Azure. This is very similar. Just the um, floor, the white florals that are in here, orange blossom and jasmine, I believe. That's a very common combo. So I'm just going to say white florals. The white florals in here kind of stand out and make it. So this smells like... If Creed Virgin Island water had some florals in it, that's what this smells like. It's really good, very feminine, Ooh, but definitely like vacation-y. I'm not sure about the longevity on this fragrance um, because I think I get a nosmic to it, but my sister-in-law smelled it on me after about six hours, but she did have to get really close to me, so I'm not sure. Guys, but um, this one definitely doesn't last that long. So use some little tricks like lotioning up, layering, do that with this to make this last a little longer. But yeah, these are very similar and very good. Mostly I get coconut, mostly lime. Lime, coconut, and white rum. 
And then with this one, I get florals in it. Yeah, I imagine wearing like sandals and some jean shorts, really short, and a camisole. Yeah, that's like with beachy waves. Mm, just easy and beautiful and beachy. But there's no salt in these. So don't, when I say beachy, I feel like I think there's salt in these, but yeah. Can't afford this one, try this one. This one is very good and very feminine. Okay, next, my favorite parfum de Marley for summer is Meliora. Guys, I got my nose on Meliora and had to buy a full bottle. Mostly I just get a lot of berries. I feel like it smells like a a berry wine. There's vanilla and musk in here. I get the, I don't get the vanilla at all. I don't know. I don't get it. I mostly get berries and a little musk after on the dry down. A little, little. Mostly I get berries. It's good. Oh, and it'll last about eight hours on me. It's just good and definitely just berries. If you like berries, you'll like this one. Um, I really need to try Lalique's Amethyst because I heard it was very similar to this one, about 90%. Um, this one probably lasts longer and it's just a little bit more um, quality ingredients, but mm, for the difference in price, I wish I would have found out before I bought the full bottle of this, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. I really like this one, guys. I think it's perfect for like really every day, whenever you want to smell like a berry. <laughs> this is a good one. Next is my most prized possession. <sighs> Oud Jaun Intense by Fragrance de Bois. Guys, oh. Mmm, it's so good. There's like, there's a Manoi, it's Tahitian gardenia in this that I think that's what I really connect with. I'm Polynesian, so I don't know. My grandma must have had something that had that oil in it because this reminds me of her. And it has um, also tiari flower, I think. Yeah, tiari flower, pineapple, um... Mm, there's some other white florals in here and then vanilla and oud and musk. I don't get a lot of musk on the dry down, but this the oud in here really like gives like this fragrance like a come hither, keep smelling me kind of atmosphere around you. It's like, mm, why do you smell so good and let me keep smelling you. Let me put my nose all the way up in your neck. Mm. Yes. Guys, I feel like this is really good for summer because it's super duper tropical. It reminds me of Hawaii. It's super duper tropical. Oh, it smells so good. <sighs> and sexy. Sexy, sexy, sexy. When you want to show out, this is what you wear. When you want to get intimate, this is what you wear. When it's about that third date night and you're all about to, you know, Hey guys, um, that was my list. And no matter what people tell us, we can do it right. We're educated, we're united. We can do this the right way. We can speak up, we can have our voices heard, we can vote, we can rally, we can do what we can do and show them what we're capable of.